when we discuss about the caste system how is caste getting politicalized how, what is the role of caste in politics when we take this point when the political parties are making the candidates to stand so in politics we have political parties so when the political parties have to make the candidates to stand for the elections they choose on the basis of the caste sentiments so when they decided that this particular caste people are in majority in that particular constituency of a parliament segment then they would like to give preference for the candidates who are from that particular caste so this is one of the basic thing where the caste plays a very dominant role in politics so the caste sentiments are being encashed by the political parties in order to get gains from that particular caste community people but if you look at the segment no parliamentary segment or constituency have a clearly a particular caste people only dominating the entire scene in the entire india out of the 543 parliamentary constituencies no constituency is having a clearly mentioning that this particular caste people only can get voting for you so from this point it's very clear that no one caste sentiments or one party sentiments or one religion sentiments can encash you to become a parliamentarian so you need to get at least two castes or three castes support for you in order to win in the elections and in case if you feel that this particular candidate has won the elections by getting the caste sentiments obviously we would get a doubt that why the ruling party members mps and sitting mlas would lose the elections the sitting mlas and the sitting mps why would they lose the elections if they are already proven that they have the opinion or the majority of the support of a particular caste group people the issue is that in most of the times yes the political parties would like to give preference for the people those who have inclination towards a particular caste and de depending on the majority of the people those who are there in that particular caste they would like to take the opinion from them and try to put the candidate to appeal to the caste sentiments of the people to encash them and to win in the elections but it is not always right why means no parliamentary segment would have the majority of the people coming from the same segment and in the same way no ruling party mla or mp would lose the elections if the situations are like that but often in india we find that the same ruling party candidate would lose the elections and would happen to have many other things on a sequence so like this it will be happening in a continuous chain so only the caste system would not be the major issue yes we have a word called word bank politics when the word bank politics are been mentioned clearly that means that in order to encash the votes of the particular caste people political parties always would try to play the cards of using the caste system religion and gender and try to make the things politicalized this we can study under the heading of politics influencing caste or using caste so it is not the caste entering into politics but the political leaders itself will use the caste to politicalize that one and to make sure that the issues are being politicalized and they get the larger benefits of the particular caste group people and also we have the categorization in the castes like forward caste and backward castes so the forward caste people and the backward caste people this division and we also have the division according to the constitution like the scheduled caste people 
scheduled tribe people so these all makes the divisions of the caste system also to get empowered in the politics because in india we have certain seats reserved for certain categories of people like scheduled caste and the scheduled tribal people so this also reveals for that constitutionally also they need to get certain support because in order to end the discrimination basing on the caste that particular caste people have to be brought into light and provide certain kind of benefits for them in order to make their particular caste people to economically grow well equal to the backward caste and the forward caste people whom so called forward and backward caste are there so because of this kind of steps taken by the constitutional authorities during the initial framing status of the constitution this has made the people of dalits and obc categories of people to be the dominant role in the indian political scenario you need to have the support of more than two or three caste people but the major share you get from the adding of the dalit votes or the obc votes which will bring a change in the political structure or the change in the government structure because the governments change for every term and the ruling party will often lose the elections basing on the split of the votes of the scs and the sts and as well as the obc categories of the people but there are also views that always focusing on the caste system is not right because of too much focus on the caste system gender discrimination religious issues so gender religion and caste issues will seriously make the concerns towards the basic requirements of the problems to be undermined like poverty terrorism and all these things for the towards leading towards the lack of development so these kind of the basic issues have to be addressed very clearly in order to solve the problems and we should not uh, localize ourselves regarding the solving of the issues of the caste sentiments caste issues and all these things but our larger goal is to have eliminate poverty from the nation eliminate the terrorism from the nation and to bring the nation into the lines of development and to achieve the larger scale of development on a major larger scale to make india to be a well developed nation not confining india itself to fight itself in the communal violence on the gender issues or various other small small challenges which are real time challenges to the democracy but we have to learn how to overcome these challenges and to become a very good developed nation by developing all the sections and all the categories of the people so now we also have the tensions growing up because of the caste system which may lead to tensions conflicts and violence so when the concept of tensions will rise how can the concept of tensions rise because of the caste system if one particular caste people started to dominate the other caste people obviously in order to make them to understand like they are inferior than us we are superior than them it would lead to conflict between the two caste groups then tensions will arise which always results in the conflicts and sometimes into the form of the violent methods or violence will break out in the different caste groups so we not only the gender issues not only the religious issues not only the caste issues any issue which is a challenge to the democracy is must have to be taken care properly and it has to be addressed very clearly otherwise we would be in trouble in the modern form of democracy but when we ask or discuss about the caste system we clearly understood that how can caste be politicalized why is caste being politicalized caste is being politicalized because of political parties which are in india we have many political parties in india any party which would like to come to power in politics or to like to form a government ultimately they would like to get the majority support of the people of a majority caste group people not only the majority religious people majority gender people like men and women but also the majority caste people basing on these number of people in that particular caste they would like to make it a vote bank for them from that particular caste like two caste or three caste together they would like to make an vote bank politics depending on the situation but the actual reality is no parliamentary segment or a constituency have a clear majority of 
a particular caste group people so it is very clear they need to get at least two or three caste groups in support to them then only the candidate can win the elections in the parliamentary segment or in the legislative assembly segment then when we move on to the politicalization of the caste so caste do not approach to anybody but the politics itself comes to caste group people in order to acknowledge them like we are taking you into politics because you have you are representing from that particular caste so automatically caste system is being dragged into politics according to the situation and it also happens to the issue of having using the words like forward caste and backward caste and the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe which is given in the constitution itself like dalits obcs and all so these are further added on to the caste system in the political system arena like having this particular group people into our favor like dalits or the obcs would get an additional benefit or a clear margin victory or the other things but sometimes we also need to remember that if you focus more on the gender issues if you focus more on the religious issues and on the caste considerations we are undermining the actual real development issues like poverty uh, to eliminate the poverty to eliminate the terrorism and to eliminate or to make india to be a developed nation and also we need to remember clearly that tensions may be caused because of caste conflicts and that may sometimes lead into violent methods so in this unit we have thoroughly discussed about the caste issues and we also need to remember that the only caste basis of a candidate would not make him to win and there are again divisions on the caste system also because there are divisions like men and women higher caste and lower caste people or oh sorry rich people and the poor people in the same caste so it doesn't clearly reveals us that the only that particular caste uh, influence would help him to win the elections but sometimes it may be adding on to the candidate basing on its his candidature but still we need to remember that it is a major challenge to the indian democracy not only indian democracy to any democracy so gender discrimination communalism and then we have the religious discrimination or religious conflicts where in india has to take a stand to be a secular state and we also have caste politics so these three are the major challenges of modern democratic system will it be in india india we have the caste also in india but when it comes to the other nations or across the world we have the gender issue gender issue discrimination and also the religious issue discrimination is happening across the world so the modern day challenges for democracy are one is a major one is gender issues the other one is uh, the religious conflicts let us hope india can successfully manage all the issues and turn to be a developed nation by giving a equitable and natural share which is justifiable to all the sections of the people and all sections of the people should be able to get their natural share in the development and would like to be an active participative members and contribute their effective role to make the initiative of developing india from their own point of view and everybody would contribute their own expressions or their own way by developing themselves and also be a part of developing nation if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus